During the thirty years following World War II, Afghanistan enjoyed a period of stability and growth. But after the overthrow of King Zahir Shah, Afghanistan was plunged into civil war. And when a society is at war with itself, it attracts invaders. And that is how the Soviet Union came in. But Afghans are known for punishing invaders. Alexander the Great was fatally wounded in this place. Mongols came to plunder but were instead absorbed into the society. The British saw the annihilation of their armies, and Afghanistan proved to be the final nail in the coffin for the Soviet Empire. During Taliban rule, when women were forbidden from receiving education, IDRF was funding underground schools for girls. With the Taliban gone, these schools are now operating openly and provide vulnerable Afghan women with an opportunity to acquire basic education and vocational skills. These schools are run by Partners in Revitalization and Building, or PRB. It is one of IDRF's local partners in Afghanistan. In addition to the academic curriculum, students are taught basic skills which will enable them to make a living. All trainees are orphans or widows who lost their families in war. In the absence of this IDRF initiative, the alternative available to these women would be to join the ranks of thousands of beggars fighting for their share of charity on the streets of Kabul. Could you tell me how the lives of the women who participate in this project, how you've seen them be affected after they graduate from, from the, the center? Tell me again what you were saying about the students. The students their that age. Uh, their age, their age are um, approximately for ten, three years uh, and lower than it. So actually, we uh, choose students that know English and they are good in English because uh, if they don't, don't know English, they uh, they have no ability to know computer. So because of this, uh, we usually uh, take students or choose students. They are school students. The objective of this program is not to produce and uh, as a production uh, center. It is a training center. So the production is not so many here. They produce only when they are under training. They, when they make something, they, they make something for training. So uh, we have <coughs> a vocational training center here. That means, well, that means that we have uh, we're training for embroidery, we have training for uh, tailoring, we have training for uh, carpet weaving. Each of the three IDRF-funded schools are located in poor neighborhoods of Kabul and offer a six-month curriculum. Today is graduation day for one of the batches. Each graduate receives a certificate, a personal grooming kit, and $40 as a graduation gift. They have spent six months in a sheltered environment. Parents who once took care of these girls and women are no longer there, and now they are returning to make room for themselves in a society that will one day, hopefully, treat them like people.
میرم با تو بانه که خوابم آرامه